Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Maths and Electronics Tutorials. Today we are going to know about the limitations of the conventional tubes. Please do check out the previous video before this as this is the continuation of the limitations of conventional tubes. So now the next limitation is gain bandwidth product limitation which is also known as GBP. So the GBP can be calculated as gain of the device into the bandwidth where A represents the gain of the device. Here we are taking triode as an example. So the gain of the triode is the A here and bandwidth can be calculated by the difference between the higher frequency and lower frequency and the gain can be calculated by the output voltage upon input voltage. Here higher gain cannot be achieved at the microwave frequency and bandwidth is very high in the microwave signals. Now the next limitation is skin depth or the conductor losses. So what is skin depth? It is the surface of the waveguides or the transmission channel at the microwave frequencies. Skin depth is very small since the resistance is more in the waveguides. Now skin depth can be represented by this symbol delta which is equal to 1 upon under root pi mu sigma f where this delta is the skin depth, f is the frequency and here there are two conditions. When the frequency is very high, the skin depth effect is very low and when the frequency is low, the skin depth is high. And the resistance of the conductor can be calculated using rho L upon A. The next limitation are the radiation losses. So the radiation losses are more at the microwave frequencies as at the input terminal pins there will be radiation emitting. It means that if there is a device and this is the input pin at the outer sur from the outer surface of this pin the radiations will be emitting. So this is the radiation losses which is very more at the microwave frequencies. Now the next limitation is dielectric losses. Dielectric losses are directly proportional to the frequency. It means that if there is more dielectric loss the frequency will be also more and if there is di less dielectric loss then the frequency is also less and dielectric losses are also more at the microwave frequencies. So these are the limitations of the conventional tubes and therefore the conventional tubes are not in use nowadays. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. We'll continue our video with the classification of the microwave tubes. Thank you.